Uh, let's get started. What I will talk about today is uh, Wetzel's solution for offshore supply, supply vessel powered by natural gas. And uh, you may know that Wetzel has a quite long history with uh, gas engines, dual fuel engines, in, uh, especially in LNG tankers. But today I will talk about offshore support or supply vessels. Uh, and, and DF engines. Uh, the primary motivation is of course uh, emissions and reducing emissions and as I will show you, you quite, quite soon there is a substantial impact by using LNG as, as power, power source compared with uh, marine gas oil. Uh, Wärtsilä has a quite long experience with uh, dual fuel engines in, uh, in uh, OSVs. It started already in 2003, so it's nearly 10 years ago, where the two first vessels was delivered with uh, gas powering. It was Viking Energy and Streel Pioneer. So this vessel has now eight years in operation with, on gas. And they are both equipped with Wärtsilä dual fuel engines. Uh, what is special with the dual fuel engines is that it can use both gas and diesel as fuel. And it can do it almost at the same time. That means that you can change between gas operation and diesel operation instantly. You cannot recognize it on the engine running. So it's a seam seamless change between diesel and energy mode during operation, which gives quite a lot of benefits. Uh, for instance, you don't need a backup system in the gas supply. If you have a pure gas engine and a DP vessel with dynamic positioning, you need to have a duplicated gas system in order to fulfill the DP class. The DF engine that is not needed, you can use the diesel mode as the backup system in case of some problem with the, with the gas supply. And all in all, this gives great operational flexibility and high redundancy on the, on the vessel. Now back to experience. Uh, Edisvik Offshore is a Norwegian ship owner that is operating uh, offshore supply vessels. Uh, they have quite a substantial experience with, with the gas-powered engines. Uh, the first one, as already mentioned, delivered in 2003, Viking Energy. Then we have Viking Queen and Viking Lady that was delivered in 2008 and 2009. And all these vessels are also with, with our DF engines and they are also with the Wärtsilä ship design so it's our own design on the, on the vessel itself and uh, they have also ordered two new vessels uh, 5000 deadweight tons PSV that will both will be delivered next year uh, also with Wärtsilä design uh, you see the main data here, it's uh, close to 90 meter length of the vessel and it has two times 34, 6L34DF and two times 6L20DF engines installed with a full diesel electric uh, installation. Uh, here you can see the arrangement of, of Viking Energy that has been operating for, for eight years. You see the, the main gas tank located in the center of the vessel. It's uh, about 220 cubic meter. And this vessel is bunkering once a week, typically. And it had uh, the pre previous 6L32DF engines installed to power. Uh, OK, it's a DF engine. so. It's of course possible to run on diesel, but from experience, more than 97% of the 
of the operation or the energy production is based on gas operation. So basically the engine is not running on, on diesel, it's only during bunkering and maybe during some minor maintenance work. In all other conditions the, the vessel is running on, on gas. Uh, and it has had eight years without any failure that has caused off fire due to the gas system. So it's quite reliable, it's working, it is really proven system. Uh, and this is actually a quote from a presentation from Edisvik. They claim that uh, the, the natural gas system is proven to be very reliable. This is only picture from, from the Scavening Air Channel. It's quite clean after 14,000 hours operation. Uh, and it has also been decided to increase the, the main maintenance intervals from 16,000 to 20,000 hours on the engines because they are working very, very well with, with gas. Okay, maybe the most interesting part is consumption and emission. This is figures from one year operation on Viking Energy. Uh, it's 14.4 uh, gigawatt hour energy produced. It's close to 3,000 tons of gas used only 200 tons of diesel. Diesel is also used for pilot injection, so there is a very small amount of diesel that is used during gas operation for igniting uh, the fuel. And the emission of NOx is uh, around 20 tons, so it's reduced with almost 90 percent compared to the IMO requirement, or also compared to normal diesel operation. And also emission of CO2 is reduced because the heating value in gas is, is higher than, than in, in MGO. So about 20% lower emission of CO2 also. Uh, also, uh, actually with the today's gas prices, it can be saved a lot also on the fuel cost. I just did a calculation based on the, on the Viking energy consumption and from that it's about or more than one million US dollar per year. Less cost by running on LNG than marine gas oil. And this is based on a uh, stated 950 US dollar per ton for MGO and 630 US dollar per ton for LNG. This can of course vary depending on where in the world you are or, or and the time. But generally, it, it has shown that there is a substantial saving by running on gas. Wärtsilä have also recently developed its own uh, storage and, and gas processing system on board. It's called LNG Pack. It's a complete solution for LNG fuel ships and it contains the, the, of course the storage tanks, the bunkering system, the processing system to, to supply the gas to the engine. So this is also part of our delivery today, meaning that we can have a complete system with, with the fuel processing and the, the diesel engines. There is a, a sketch of the, the gas pack you have the bunkering station up to the left and the main tank and uh, two evaporator units. The first one there is to controlling the, the pressure in the tank and the next one is to control the, the flow into the, the diesel engines. So the gas is flowing from the tank, it's being evaporated in, in, the, in the product evaporator and uh, supplied to the engine and uh, control that we are the gas valve system that you see at, at the bottom there. So, conclusion. W um, we have now available an integrated solution from Wärtsilä, including both ship design, propulsion and automation system, and also 
onboard gas storage handling as I just show you this LNG pack and what you can get with with LNG operation is about 90% NOx reduction that has been proven from uh, from uh, the operational part and it's also about 20% reduced CO2 emissions and with the DF engine you have as I showed you full flexibility you can run on diesel you can run on gas and it will change or seamless during operation normally also lower fuel cost lower ma maintenance cost because longer maintenance intervals and it has shown to be a proven solution by the more than 20 years accumulated operational experience close to 10 years since the first vessel was delivered now so thank you for your attention